Hello. Today I'm going to be back to working in my Custom Keeper journal. And I have picked this center spread out of my second signature. And I'm going to be working there. And before I did that, I took some time going into my scraps folder that I keep right here at hand and using um, these colors as a, an idea starter I picked some of these bits of collage out of that little folder and decided that they would be the basis of this collage. I'm not particularly looking to uh, make a collage story in my head today, but uh, I'm just going to rip and fold and, uh, uh, sorry, rip and place and um, spread around into a, pleading, a pleasing manner and then um, have fun just putting putting it down without too much thought. This came off something that came in my happy mail and uh, so this will be the start of my uh, collage thought and I'm going to kind of spread these out around because there is no particular rhyme or reason. Uh, probably I picked this because of the color uh, of the butterfly etc. So here Here is my uh, my collage thoughts. I'm going to, uh, however, one thing I'm going to do today is uh, make uh, make sure that these bits of collage that I put down are all torn. Uh, I enjoy I enjoy. The, uh, the look of torn collage and the fact that they um, uh, do go down so nicely and easily on the page. I didn't realize, I didn't ever look at this side, and this side is absolutely perfect for my needs today. I just want to make a pleasant design. And I might use some or all of these bits. loving this so this is going to have to go someplace. You will find that after many times of ripping collage bits that you be, your fingers become quite agile at uh, doing the tearing job for you. And in this case, I'm tearing towards me, so I'm seeing some of the white of the paper, which is what I'm wanting to do because of the uh, white background here.
those of you who uh, keep up with my videos, you'll know that on the, um, you'll remember that on my last one, I had a, uh, quite a time with a new punch. And uh, I said that I was going to uh, give it uh, to my husband to solve or not. And uh, he had his uh, screwdriver and uh, opened the punch and did some banging and shaking and realized immediately what the problem was. And as you can see, uh, the punch is doing just fine again. <laughs> so, that war was won by um, help from on high when it comes to uh, something like that. I just get so resentful sometimes that things are not, uh, things don't work the way they ought to. And then I thought, well, maybe that's why it was on sale. And I said, well, no. And my husband made magic. And so I have that uh, pretty punch working. And I'm quite tickled. It's the uh, tearing of paper that sometimes is so much fun and so relaxing. And I'm not looking really to make any sort of a, uh, a statement here. I just want to uh, put these bits down in a pleasing way. And I have just learned a lesson. Be sure to look at both front and back of your collage bits. Because, my, 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 what can be found? Treasures hiding. Starting to try to get ahead on some videos because uh, next uh, weekend we're leaving on Friday and going back up to the mountains. But this time, instead of going to the North Georgia mountains, we're going to the serious Smoky Mountains in Asheville, North Carolina, for um, a uh, a model airplane contest and uh, a week of. Um, leaf peeping. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. And I know that you understand that sometimes you just have to do things like that even though might be a little stiff. Well, we'll just have to see. Uh, so I'm going to be going away for uh, from Friday and I'll be back on uh, Thursday night so I want to have some videos ahead so that when I get back I'm be ready to uh, pop that one on so that you won't think that uh, I've been uh, abducted by aliens. Although I'm sure sometimes when you see me go into miseries over mechanical devices and so forth, you do think that uh, the aliens have me. It's 
just wonderful to leave um, Northeast Florida, Jacksonville to be exact, and uh, go up to see my beautiful land that rises. As I've told you before, I'm not a um, I'm not a water girl, but those mountains and smelling that fresh air and feeling that nip in the air for autumn, well, it's just absolutely delightful. Although I must say that we can get pretty cold here in, um, in Jacksonville in the winter. I do need to have a, uh, a winter coat here. Is anything happening? Well, I'm thinking that that just might be it. Yes, well, I'm going to take a, uh, a photo and attach these uh, attach these bits of uh, collage, and I'll get back and we'll see what happens next. Oh, I do know what happens next. I'm going to push it all back just a little bit with my golden zinc white uh, acrylic. Alrighty, now this is attached, and my golden uh, zinc white is going to get put on. It's going to get put on with a brayer, and I'm not using titanium white or gesso because this is much much more transparent. And let's, let's just Oops, got a little bit much there, but that's okay. Let's see if I can pull it off. Oops. To use this up. There, but it's uh, not overwhelming. I'm going to uh, wait for this to dry before I uh, glue down this piece right there. As you can see, I've uh, started doing some doodling, and now I'm just finishing up this last bit.
before I have a think and go on and decide whether or not we need to have something else here. I've used some uh, of my stays on around the edge of the paper to give it a frame. And now I'm deciding what I need to do next on this flower and here I used a um, brush marker and I used a brush marker for the two stems for these two flowers and I used some brush marker over here I used a very fine very very fine um, SX pen to bring out the uh, butterfly and I've put my uh, lines down. And now I'm, that I have a better picture of this, I'm realizing that uh, I need to bring out uh, the uh, focals here. And I'm thinking that uh, this and that and this and this need to have more more definite spotlight to put on them so I'm going to go to my uh, pile of G2 which of course is not permanent but then I'm not going to be uh, applying water at this uh, to anything here at this point so Let's just see if we can't there. All righty now. Oh, yes. Much better. body of the uh, butterfly. It's not making enough statement here. It's time. I'm not happy with this just having um, two. That's better. Something is not pleasing to the eye when I see even numbers. Okay. on bringing my eye up to these um, streamers. I have always thought that if, uh, if I were ever having a nervous breakdown, I could always uh, draw streamers and put these circles on them because they tends to uh, put me into my uh, super relaxed mode. And up 
here, here. Okay, let's be careful now, Carol. And now put your big finger into this stuff. Quite incredible. Why something as simple as adding dots attracts uh, some part of our brain to make us uh, look and follow. to Muji for the other for the other bits of um, collage <clears throat> the weather has finally changed here in Northeast Florida, and the mornings have been uh, 55 and 60, and so 65 degrees. And by Florida standards, that means the uh, thermometer dropped like a rock. But it certainly is refreshing. I look forward to this time every year. And then, of course, going up to the uh, to celebrate fall, the beginning of the holiday season up in the mountains in Asheville has become quite a ritual for my husband and I and uh, I'm looking forward to leaving on uh, Friday. Here again, little things mean a lot. some white.
And here are my very favorite, my very favorite kinds of doodles. Just squiggling around here. And I'm able to see this so clearly is the uh, camera. Everything that I do on my desktop is showing on a uh, on a monitor on a uh, screen, so that I see everything very very clearly. I'm holding this pen very, very lightly so that it really can accomplish these squiggles. If you have enjoyed this fun collage experience without planning a story, but just by building collage bits and doing some doodling and thinking and sharing some thoughts with you, Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Well, I think this bit of white scribbling on top here is just what the doctor ordered for that flower. Going over that, uh, those collage bits with the uh, zinc white achieved what I wanted to achieve, but uh, there were certain areas that uh, seemed to want to or need to be uh, brought out a little bit. I'm not a great believer in the uh, adage that what is worth doing is worth overdoing, so I'm going to stop. The 
this. Well, this was great fun. So it's quite clear there is an under painting and then here is all of the uh, zinc white that I brayered on. Our collage bits which were enhanced with some pen work and white pen work <clears throat> and I'm uh, that was a uh, Uniball a Signo a white pen that does that. That's my go-to. This was something that was gifted to me in, um, as in, uh, on a rack, and um, I'm so happy to see that be there. It's been quite a while waiting for its spot. By now, 